Or is that weird? This was actually a light gray when I started. It is 95 degrees here though. Holy crap, full blown humidity. I'm gonna go see if Tux's groomer has any appointments so I could get him a bath because he's disgusting. So we're heading out, that's where we're going now. soaking wet is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I got this request a while ago to do a what's in my gym bag video and because I'm packing for California and I will need to bring my gym bag, kind of reorganize it, I figured I would just go through what's in there, quickly show you guys and why I have everything in this bag. Before I get into what's in the bag, I just want to show you what kind of bag I have. But this is a Reebok duffel bag. I'm pretty sure it's from Sports Authority. It's got a side pocket with a drink compartment, another side pocket here, and then a fun compartment with the middle. First and foremost, in the bag, my Unbroken Design weightlifting belt. This is my favorite belt. If you guys are looking for good weightlifting belts, I highly recommend Unbroken Designs. I have them in both the leather belt and the Velcro belt as well. I've got my two belts. Next thing in the bag are my Nike Romaleo weightlifting shoes. I had Reebok lifters before, and ever since I went to the Romaleo, I don't think I will ever go back. It's my favorite weightlifting shoe. The purpose of the weightlifting shoe is just to have a little bit more heel support, ankle stability for when you're squatting and doing Olympic lifts. Next item in the bag are my Kilo Nut Pounds knee sleeves. You guys see me wear these all the time. Just helps with knee support, compression. I like these because they're stretchy, they're not too tight. You basically make these as tight or as loose as you prefer, which I like because I find with the other knee wraps that I have, which I'll show you guys next, they're super tight and thick and you have to take them off after every set or basically your legs feel like they're falling asleep. <laughs> I primarily use these for squatting and clean and jerk. So if you're not really into wraps, I also have Unbroken Designs knee sleeves, which I recommend for knee sleeves as well. By the way, I'm not paid to say that I like Unbroken Designs, I just genuinely really like their company. And it was the first pair of knee sleeves that I ever bought, so they kind of have like a little special place in my heart. I like to use these for workouts, like if something has overhead lunges, or box jumps, or burpees, something that protects my knees. I wear these a lot in competition, so the Unbroken Designs knee sleeve. The last knee protection, don't you love how I don't wrap anything back up before I put it in my bag? I'm one of those people who just like shoves everything in my bag. This is also another form of knee support. These are the Rogue Fitness 
knee wraps. You can see these are a lot longer and thicker than the other ones. A lot of power lifters use these knee wraps. They're great for heavy squats. I will only use these. You can see how thick they are. I will only use these wraps for anything above 90 three-ish percent on my back squat and front squat. I don't typically clean and jerk with these unless my legs are like super tired. They are very, very supportive and if you wear them for too long and they're too tight, your legs literally feel like they're gonna fall off. You can see how soft and breathable the Kilo Not Pounds ones are and then how seriously thick the Rogue Fitness ones are. So two different levels of knee support. I like to have them both in my bags at all times. Next item in the bag, the Barbell Cartel wrist wraps. I actually, use these today for snatch pulls so I'll just put a little video here of me using them. Basically the purpose of these is just to be able to have a grip on the bar when you're doing things like snatch grip deadlifts, um, snatch pulls. Some people snatch with these on. I can't do it for some reason. It just makes me nervous that the, like it's going to get stuck. So basically what you do is you put your wrist strap on like so. There's a padded part right here. Slip it onto your wrist and then you wrap this part around the barbell and you're able to hold on to the bar while you're doing your pulls and it doesn't destroy your grip. So I really like these, the barbell cartel ones, just because the padded part on your wrist is soft as opposed to most wraps have the entire thing like this and it can kind of dig into your wrist. So I also have a pair of gymnastics grips. I, honestly, I don't remember where I got these from so I don't know how I'm gonna link them but I'll link a similar pair down below in the description box. But these are basically for high rep pull-ups, muscle-ups, anything where you're on the bar for a long time, you basically just put these on your fingers, wrap it around your wrist, and you're able to do pull-ups and everything like that so it protects your hands from ripping. Last but not least in the gym bag is my RPM rope. I prefer the RPM rope just because it's really thin and it's lightweight. I'm not one of those people that likes to do double unders with a heavy rope. I hate it and it tires out my forearms really fast, so I always prefer using an RPM rope than something heavier. But I will just give you guys a fair warning. If you whip yourself with this, because it's kind of like a metal rope, it leaves welts like you would not believe. It's so painful. So that is everything that's in my gym bag. And now I can clean it out and organize it for California. And then um, I think my mom's coming over later to help me organize my closet. So, oh, hi. Hi. I decided I wanted to do breakfast for lunch. So I got one egg and two egg whites spinach, tomatoes, half of a serving of the hash browns, and that bacon that I told you guys about from Fresh Market topped with a little bit of goat cheese. I just love breakfast, you guys. I really do. <laughs> We're on our way to Whole Foods to get some coffee. We need a couple of different things for the week, and that is pretty much it. I'll show you guys what we're grabbing at Whole Foods. from Whole Foods I wanted to show you guys a couple of my meals for my rest day typically I don't eat as many carbs on rest days just because I don't need 300 grams of carbs to sit around and do nothing so I made a little shrimp stir fry here with liquid aminos and these little tofu noodles which for the whole entire bag you can eat this whole bag for six grams of carbs one fat and less than one protein but look at the volume on that you guys know i'm all about volume macros so that's a nice little shrimp noodle dish and then over here i don't put my chicken in with the salad yet only because i don't want it to get soggy but this is four ounces of that ground chicken that you guys saw me buy with a little fresh cilantro and then right here i have my bolt house farms cilantro lime avocado dressing and then I put some fresh lime on the chicken as well as this wow ow ch wow uh chihuahua seasoning that I got from Fresh Market the other day it's like a little spicy southwestern chicken seasoning and it's really really good so I topped my chicken with that and then the rest of the chicken I just put in this Tupperware here that I put in the fridge I also just grabbed one of these creamy mozzarella things I'll probably throw it into the salad too or something I don't know yet but yes yeah, so this is what's going on for rest day tomorrow as far as main meals not snacks obviously so that's the end of today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed i know it was a bit random today i don't know what i want to do for my california vlogs i don't know 
if I want to make it one long vlog or if I should do like multiple day to day. What do you think? Let me know. Put your comments down below. Give me your advice, your input. I love to hear your guys' thoughts. And of course, if you missed last week's video, you can click here to watch it. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next vlog. <laughs>